big shout out to Rick Guzaki from America who promises me a handcrafted beer if these plates deliver and I'm expecting a really good beer mate Hi, I'm Garrett from Ultraflex 4x4 and I'm going to show you the new version 3 of the Discovery 1 headlight conversion in 130 watts. Now this is how to fold the plates and assemble them. So watch closely. The kit comes like this. It's actually got two plates and two quantities of this. Now to bend this up is actually not that hard. We basically need to take the mirror image. So one of these plates and another plate, but with this edge aligned to this edge. So you don't make two left hand or two right hand plates, right? So the first thing we're going to do is fold this one up. Easy enough to do by hand. All right, then we want to fold this one up. Now we do that by putting on the edge of the table, bending. Got it. Same with the other one. Edge of the table, bend. Okay. Same with this one. Just on the table, bend. Okay. Now these ones here, you bend out at 45 degrees, this one and this one. Uh, same with this one, about 30 degrees that way. Okay, and then you fold these in to match them. As you can see, you can do it by hand. It's mold steel. Very easy. You can straighten this up a little bit if you like. Okay. So I'm not actually going to fully assemble this because this is going to be shipped out. So I don't want to lock it in. Now these are steel. So they're pretty hardy. There's some stickers here for ADR compliance. And they will actually get stuck on the back after you've painted them. And uh, all that sort of stuff. Climbed and painted them. Got a spatula on, or whatever you want to do. The assembly is pretty straightforward. Obviously, this is the front of the plate, this is the back of the plate. Do you want to stick these on here? These are all M3 stainless with nylock nuts. As I said, I'm not going to completely assemble this, but uh, you get the general idea. It's probably easier just to track, throw these things through the hole first, hold them on, put them on, tilt it up, then put the nuts on. Yeah, it's a little bit fiddly. This, uh, a 2.5 millimeter hex bit that you need. <clears throat> I think that's a seven millimeter nut. Anyway, enough. We don't know how to do that. Now the light. We'll grab our light. This is our 130 watt light. It's actually a, quite a nice unit. Take the plastic off. Set the drill on reverse. Make sure you set it to a screw setting and probably the lowest or second lowest setting and then undo. Try not to lose the screws. Top and the bottom. You see there's actual writing here. That's the top. So let's go around again. This will have some sealant on it. So Generally, you can just pull it apart, there's not much of an issue doing that. Sometimes you have to get a knife. Anyway, I've lost a few of the screws, it's fine. Just pop them back in there so they don't roll off the table. Alright, 
Now, this light, uh, that's the top. Goes in here like this. Voila. Should fit perfectly. No idea is to line up in the middle. You can adjust the angle slightly if you need to. We go back to our drill screw setting one or two. Change the forward direction. Right. A couple more. In the corners. Done. So long as you painted them first. Um, you can give these a bit of a touch up with whatever paint after you've folded them if you really want to or you can paint them, paint them after you've folded them if you like. Anyway, that's how easy it is. That's the Ultraflex 4x4, Discovery 1, headlight conversion to LED in 130 watts. Version 3, out of steel, nice and tough. And yes, there are four mounts for a good reason. On the back here, you can put an M4 pan head screw and put that through the chassis with two nuts either side and you get a fourth mount, the light will not fall out of the car even if you jump it. Or you can just have one spare in case you hit a cow. <laughs> and that's it.